Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Coco. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my hair story and how it's been for me for the past four years actually it's been four years that i've been natural since january 2017 so january 2021 maybe four years and i did not celebrate i guess maybe next year since it's gonna be five years i'll do something but um it's been like it's been a journey i've asked this question already on my instagram but let me know how long you've been natural and also what or what has been like your biggest struggle for your natural hair i am proud to say that even though i did learn stuff and i did learn how to do my hair and all of that there's still so much that i have to learn and i'm only halfway to my goal um my goal is really to evaluate my hair or the health of my my hair in 10 years and 10 years is really the goal <laughs> so i hope you guys will enjoy this little video it's just a story time of my hair and what has been my journey and why did i decide to go natural so i hope you guys will enjoy so i've been natural for um four years now and um actually four years in january because i decided to go natural in december 2016 actually so i decided to go natural in december 2016 and then in january 2017 because usually i would do the perm a relaxer that's what they call it relaxer we call it perm i don't know if anybody calls it perm but for so when i'm gonna be referring to perm i'm referring to relaxer so it's the same thing so um i did the perm at um I did the perm when I came here in Canada, 2006, 2007, I think I was 13 years old and um, this is when I decided that my mom actually, she she put the perm, after she put the relaxer, you see there's a difference, she put the relaxer in my hair and then she put the perm. Um, I feel like just doing those two back to back kind of like really damaged my hair but my hair came back it was nice i was like rocking the perm for literally like 10 years so from 13 to 23 that made me like 10 years that i had perm i was relaxing my hair there was no problem i didn't have any issues with my hair but i started having issue with my hair in 2011 um I remember 2011 was a year that was, a year that was very stressful in 2011 2012 this is when I really started seeing like a lot of breakage in my hair I wasn't taking care of my hair as much as as much as I was before I was in college so my mom really stopped washing my hair as more as possible and you know transition between like teenager your teenager I'm in high school it was like the end of high school and beginning of college so a lot of stress a lot of anxiety all of that so that's when like i feel like i was going to salons but not as much and when i live in montreal i can't live far from the city so for me to go get my hair done i need to literally drive like an hour to do my hair every time so what happened is that i would just do my hair at home my mom would do it for me or i would actually, actually like install my own rods and everything and that was like i was 17 and i was doing this so for me it was like the process of having my hair damaged all the time having to take care of it so at some point i was really like fed up i was tired of going back and forth in montreal doing my hair so at some point i was really the one taking care of my hair even in when i had the perm i was doing my own um like you know those head drinks um head hood dryer we bought a hood dryer we bought everything to just do our hair at home but it came to the point where i was really tired of always having to go and get that perm anyway so i had all the tools at home to do my hair but i still had to go get the perm because i didn't feel comfortable putting it myself so you know i still had to go out of my way go to the city do my hair all the time so at some point i got tired and also i was experiencing hair loss in between so fast forward to 2016 while i was still in college i actually no, i finished college and 
I was like, okay, so I don't want to keep going to, to Montreal to do my hair and then I want to keep going to Montreal for my hair and I was getting hair loss in my crown area I feel like in the middle of my head I do have pictures about that as well I'll show you right here but this is another video for another time I'm gonna go more into details of a, about the type of alopecia that I did experience because I know what caused it so this is why it's actually important to know your body know yourself so you can really assess and tell what you need to do next for your hair for your body for your soul for your mind everything if you know what I mean so I pretty much had like hair loss here in my crown area and I was like oh my god like um, uh, I'm losing hair and I know it's definitely because of the perm because you know when you have the perm in your hair, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but if you had a perm and you remove and you're not now natural, um, you do know what I'm referring to when they put the chemical in your hair and then you feel it heated up. Like you feel like your scalp is like on fire and it's like, it's, it's an interesting experience because you go through this because that's what has been shown to you for your entire life you see everyone's doing it and this is how they think that your hair should look like so it's really like a transition to like knowing that I will never get back to this type of hair again and knowing the fact that I could get to the type of hair like that like straight if I just apply heat if I just straighten it if I just do that whereas like you know like there's some girls like they have like some wavy hair and then they decide to um, they decide to strain their hair so they want to look nice but just having to add the chemical and your hair looking straight flat like this the entire time it's like it's missing life it's missing like puffiness it's missing something you know so I at first I was like hesitant about the whole going natural and having my hair to deal with and I was just like I wonder if it's not gonna be more work for me to take care of my hair it's gonna be thick it's gonna be a lot like I had a lot of questions because there's so many people that were saying like oh it's so hard to take care of your natural don't get me wrong it is hard but I prefer this versus taking care of my hair when it's like and I know there's a chemical that's inside my hair so uh, it, it was a process and I think it still is a process because in 2016 I discovered what was the issue so I was transitioning for four years I did like um, protective hair sound um, to transition and this is how I started my YouTube channel pretty much is by showing the different protective hairstyle that I was doing I did not film all of them so this year I'm gonna tap into it for you guys um, so it's really just a really get to know my hair know what to do for my hair and yeah it was a process so um, just to say as well the type of alopecia that I did experience because I actually did a post on my Instagram about that so if you want to check my Instagram don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to get more insight get to know me more so we can get in touch on Instagram definitely so um, I did explain and one of my um, subscribers followers one of my followers curly barbie actually mentioned she was just like are you still experiencing alopecia and the answer is yes i still have alopecia but not as much since like i mentioned before i'm probably gonna make a different video about it because it is part of my hair story uh, yeah definitely that's another video and i do still experience alopecia not as much like i will show you the picture um, I think I probably already did but you see my hair here even though my hair looks full because I remember when I had I, like when it was worse than that people like my friends I would tell them that I have hair loss and they were looking at me like girl where like I don't see hair loss but for you as a person that's always dealing with your hair you know what your hair looks like and you know when you have hair loss you're like in shock you're like oh my god I'm losing my hair but uh, when other people on the outside they would see my hair being so full they would not think that I actually am experiencing hair loss but I am and I feel like I still you see here there is growth 
because you see how it's looking now I'm probably gonna make another video I take a screenshot like this <laughs> but you see how this here it's pretty short and before having this problem the crown area of my head was the part where I had the most hair like when I was younger my hair was like all the way here or even more so I'm really giving my hair 10 years me to get back to what I was when I was 10 years old and this is a picture of me when I was 10 <laughs> so really for me to get to that position that so that has been my goal so 10 years taking care of my hair nourishing it applying all the products and then see if I can get to that point so this has been the goal the entire time so that's it um so my hair story it's been a struggle it hasn't been easy definitely to take care of my hair but it's just in terms of learning and knowing what to do what not to do and also not being afraid to wash my hair i feel like this has been one of the biggest um issues at first because when you have the perm you cannot wash your hair when you want to you have to wait until like two weeks or three weeks until you can get to a salon and you get to wash your hair or if you can do it at home but you have to put your own uh rolls afterwards so it's been a process and i feel like it's it's big it's been giving me like freedom to really wash my hair when i want to when i decide that i want to wash my hair like of course there's days where you feel lazy and you don't want to wash your hair which is fine because you do know it takes a process definitely it's been a process and there is so much to talk about when it comes to hair and my journey this is my first video and definitely not my my last that i'm gonna be doing i haven't talked to you guys a lot about it so i definitely wanted to share this story with you guys and this is probably just part one <laughs> so i asked this question already on my instagram but let me know how long you've been natural and also what or what has been like your biggest struggle for your natural yeah how long you've been natural which year was the hard transition for you because to be honest for me like you can see the transition and i feel like it is still a transition because I know my hair but there's so much that I don't know of as well but I feel like the only thing that's missing out is really knowing which products to use which I'm really trying to incorporate a bit more but I found I found one of my few good products I haven't tried a lot as you can tell I'm not a product junkie I try to really use product wisely and use as much as possible and of course water is my best friend whenever I know I want to you know style my hair differently even if it's just with living I just go in the shower I just rinse my hair do some add some shampoo and it's really I feel like it's not it's it's, it's a process of knowing how like knowing what to do with your hair but if you think about it sometimes okay, I can't might just <laughs> go off subject a bit but let's say the spray bottle, the more you spray water, might as well just when you're in the shower, just rinse your hair, right? It's the same concept and you can just bring them in the shower, add your living in the shower. It saves you so much time. So I feel like there's so much more that you can do for your hair regimen, your hair care that's going to save you time for sure. And also don't rely on other people's journey. Um, for example, me, I went natural almost at the same time as my, co my cousin, but my hair type and hair hair type is totally different. Yeah, we have some type of the same genes, but still, it's not the same. My hair is different, her hair is different. So, you just have to be cautious. You just have to be um, mindful of other people's journey, that's for sure. But know that your journey will be different and will never be the same as someone else. So, yeah that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to also leave me a comment about the question that i just asked you guys and that is it i hope to see you guys on my next video so thank you so much for watching bye <laughs>